Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vlog. I have a lot of home updates going on. Whoa, sorry, just like completely got a little shaky there. It's exciting because I'm finally getting patio furniture so I can finally decorate the outdoor area space that you guys might know that we have that we didn't really get to use last year because we didn't have like the proper furniture and then the outlets stopped working but we got it to work again I don't know it's just a bunch of like little small stuff and you're just like this is not like good vibes here you know so it's finally getting make made over we have patio furniture coming in soon from best choice products they're sending me um, some furniture in exchange for an Instagram which is really exciting there we just wanted it to be more comfortable than anything and have enough seating for everyone so we have this just in a different color coming which is exciting I think we got yeah, we got brown and tan looks like that we have a fire pit coming we have another patio set coming it's just gonna be amazing and I ordered a new rug on Target for the outdoor space why are outdoor rugs so ugly well, someone riddled me that. So I got this one. This was like the best I could find. Not a bad price, $120. Something I really want to get is kind of like decorations, like pillows and stuff. So I think I might go to Walmart and Target and see what they have there. That's what we're gonna do. See what we've got. So, um, a little update is I went to Target, I got a rug, you can kind of see it back there. Um, they had these poofs that I really like for the outdoors. They're very basic looking, but I feel like that's the only approach you can do for outdoor living spaces. So, they're by like Studio McGee, which I never thought I'd ever buy anything by Studio McGee, but they just looked like they would mesh the best with what I've got. So, I'm thinking about getting those, we'll see. But I canceled my order for the rug and I just picked it up because apparently they had it in stock. I didn't realize they had it in stock or else I just would have went and bought it at Target, but whatever. So I got that and now I'm at TJ Maxx and I'm going to see what they have because sometimes they have good outdoor stuff. So I'm at Walmart and they actually have really cute stuff. Oh man, this one's cute. I should have gotten this one. Frick. Hmm. It's only $97. I might get this one for the front porch. I don't know. Okay, so I'm home from Walmart and Target. I ended up picking up the rug that I ordered online. And just buying it in store and canceling my order online because they had it and I didn't realize that but then I went to Walmart and you guys they have such good stuff at Walmart when it comes to patio and garden stuff because personally I hate spending money on stuff that is just going to get rained on and you know just that shit I found that I still have an entire pack of these from our outdoors that I got last year so I'm going to put those in our front yard and then this is the best part Ugh. I got these pillows for $12 at Walmart that's cute as fuck from the better homes and garden toss pillows fade resistant fabric for long wear durability so cute $12 and then I also picked up this rug and it's just like a cream and white stripe for our front porch because we moved the stuff that was on the back patio to the front because we just needed to like clean it although I'm realizing we shouldn't have been wearing shoes when we cleaned our front porch with like a hose because now there's like mud all over and you can see like the prints where we walk. I also got an extension cord at Target. Anyway, I'm gonna go figure out where to put these. These are the Modern Pathway lighting set. I'm pretty sure I paid like maybe 20 bucks max. I like these ones because I mean I grew up with the ones that kind of look like lanterns and these ones are really like it said modern looking. And they're solar powered, so they just get light here and they turn on and like illuminate the pathway. Mm -hmm. 
So our patio stuff came and we have 5,000 boxes on our front porch now. Size, reference, slightly large. The cushions. And here is all of the patio furniture that we have to put together tomorrow. Should be interesting. Wish us luck, honestly. So I sprayed this with like a weed thing and it's already starting to work. Something we want to do eventually is get this paint off and repaint it, stain it. Because what is this color? It's like purple. We need to pull the weeds. And Cody... Finally, we got a lawnmower. He mowed the lawn, what a thrill. We cleaned off the back patio and this is the old fire pit. We're actually putting a new fire pit in here. We're gonna take these bricks out and we're going to put the new fire pit on top of it. It's really big. So that will look really good. And then we'll have this sofa, two chairs, two stools and then the propane tank will go there oh god that scared me i thought that was something dead that's just a leaf okay so in here we've just got this which we cleaned off but clearly all the pollen just doesn't want to budge which it is what it is obviously we're going to paint this all whenever the time comes but for now we have it like this so we're gonna keep this here I think we're going to put part of the sectional here and then the other half over here or we're going to fix the screening because some of it has come up but that will happen and then we're just going to have this really nice outdoor area and i'm so excited but that's the updates this is all of the old shit that the previous owners left here because we honestly didn't use this much last year because we didn't have the appropriate furniture but now we do and i'm excited out to go pick up some plant or fake plants that I bought on Facebook marketplace and it's unfortunately a 45 minute drive away but I will do crazy things for some cheap ass plants you know gonna be boring but at least I got podcast we are now in our end route end route I don't know the proper term to go pick up these damn fake plants I can't believe I'm driving 45 minutes to do this but you know what we don't have anything better to do and we love a good deal so that's what we're doing oh by the way i just got a ring notification that there was a stabbing at the east nashville kroger on gallatin well they're both on gallatin so like that's really hot you know charming so i just filmed this entire clip out of focus which is unfortunate so i just film this entire clip out of focus but the two palms that I got on Facebook marketplace are behind me and we are ready to go home it's gonna take 51 minutes to get home which freaking sucks but I'm in Fairview I don't know if that means anything to anyone but it's a nice nice uh, rolling acre type place um, I was hoping I'd pass McDonald's on the way I didn't so that's unfortunate but I'm just really hyped right now to have these palms because these palms retail like the one that I got on or I bought it on Amazon um, from nearly naturals I love those plants but that big uh, banana leaf one was like close to $200 and then the palm leaf one like this one um, was like a hundred so to get both of these for $50 I consider that a success Yep, that's what's new here. Oh, there's some cows. Hello, friends. Okay. Oh, there I am. Which way do I go? This way? Do I have anything to update you guys with? I don't think so. But I am very excited to get these. And the, the lady did tell me that they're going to fade in the sun. But, like, I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal to me. They're old. 
plants would die a lot quicker. Ooh, if you think about it, honestly, these are so such a good price because the real one would be like 40 bucks each. So that's $80 and I would probably kill that. So I'm really just thrilled to be alive right now. I'm gonna go now. Um, I'm out here on my patio and I wanna show you guys everything that I've gotten recently because everything has come in the mail slash or I've purchased it. Um, and yeah, so first thing I got were these inserts from Amazon. Can you believe these are this thin? Are you joking? This was $20 for these inserts. Are you freaking kidding me? It's like a light reflector though. I thought they were gonna like fill out more, but they didn't. So I'm gonna link them in the description box so you know not to buy them. Sorry, my nose itches. And then I got these 60 inch garden torches. They, so, Tiki torches. What are our thoughts on tiki torches? I don't love them, but I get why they are sometimes necessary and we don't want a lot of mosquitoes out here. So I got these ones. These are like a brown color. But yeah, we're gonna put these two over here, two over there, and that will be good. The next thing I got were from Walmart. I got three of these pillows and you're probably like, oh, those are cute pillows. They are. They're only $5. If you have a Walmart near you, I highly recommend going to get them because they're great. However, I purchased really cute, obviously Scotch guard them if you so desire. Um, I'm probably not gonna do that to those, but I will do it to these. And apparently these rug pillows are outdoor pillows. Sorry, my nose itches. So I ordered these and I think I got them all for under $50 with shipping, which is a deal. And so for those that I showed you guys, long pillows, I got this. That's cute, right? There we go. You can see it a little bit better there. Cute. For these square pillows, I got these ones. Cute. And then three different variations of those. So you see how they're like a little different. Sorry the lighting is so backlit, but this is all I am working with right now. Um, so I got those. And finally I got another one for the, what are those pillows called? Like lumber pillows, lum, lum, lumbar, lumbar. Yeah, so I got those. Let's put these bad boys on here. I mean, they probably, they'll, they'll work just fine, but like, why are these so thin? Thankfully they work, but maybe they are supposed to be this thin? I don't know. Are these type of pillows supposed to be this thin? Someone help me out. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so cute. I'm obsessed with that. I do think they could be a little bit thicker. I'll put the seller that I got these pillows from in the description box in case you're interested but I'm pretty excited about them okay that one the zipper broke okay that's a little unfortunate but we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen now for these square pillows I'm so proud of how the patio is turning out you guys it's gonna be lit but we can always take the stuffing out and try that Okay, that might help a little bit. Ta-da! The upgraded $5 pillow. We love her. She's cute. This is like me trying to fit into a double zero. Oh, also another thing that I got was I got an outdoor speaker. So I'm actually going to put this together. I got this on Amazon. Apparently it's really good. I'm going to give it a, sh a shot and I will let you guys know how it is. Looks good. So there is still a lot of work that I want to get done with the outdoor space. So I don't think this is realistically going to be like the full tour, but let me know if you want an entire tour when that time comes. But for now, this is where we're starting and I'm really excited about it. So let's show you. So this is the outdoor fireplace. It's this like perfect brown color and it's got these brown stones in it and it sits low and this is actually where the propane tank is which i have our outdoor speaker on right now we're gonna take that inside obviously then i have this outdoor ignore the trash over there 
This is two chairs. This is from Best Choice Products and I love them. They are so comfortable and they're just so easy to wipe down when they get dirty. I've got the matching sofa over here. This is the cover but this is going to be so nice when we have people over to enjoy the fireplace because there's technically three people that can fit here, two over there, two here and we can just enjoy the fire roast some marshmallows because I looked up online you can roast marshmallows over a propane tank I googled it so obviously it's real I got these like I showed you guys on Amazon they're they just match everything perfectly they're a little bit nicer than the typical tiki torches and we got to put some oil in it and it will help you know repel the mosquitoes which we love that but yeah so that is this area we are eventually, like I mentioned, going to repaint all of this, but that's just not on the agenda with all the pricing because that would just be really expensive and time consuming and we are planning a wedding right now. The netting, which we are going to do this year. We are going to replace the fan blades, which we probably should have done before this, but unfortunately I forgot to. So this part is eventually going to move. I don't know where... Um, but I like the little chandelier, just not right there. These lights are from Walmart. Honestly, Walmart's outdoor stuff is immaculate. This actually came with our house, this long bench. We were going to get rid of it, but it honestly, it just fits perfectly. I will need to get pillows that are larger, maybe like two bigger pillows, just to kind of make these look a little bit less just unproportional. This is where my cow skull went. Here are those plants that I went and picked up. They worked perfectly over here. The other one obviously is right there. Doesn't require me watering them, so that's always great. And I have the sectional, which we broke up into four different spots. So we have this little love seat, a chair, a chair, and a love seat. And these are the pillows that I bought on Etsy, the pillow covers, which I will link in the description box. Comes with a coffee table. I will be styling this eventually. I need to go to Ikea. I thought I'd have all the Ikea stuff by now, but they didn't have any of the stuff I wanted at the Ikea I went to. So we'll be getting that this weekend. And then this is a rug that I purchased from Target and it actually just matches so perfectly. I couldn't believe it. So that was really exciting. But yeah, I think everything just turned out so good and I can't wait to have some outdoor parties. Once everyone's vaccinated, it's gonna be lit. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. So here's what it looks like from out here. Looks pretty good if you ask me. I'm so excited, oh my god.